Guys, congratulations on on uh, season two of this fantastic, thrilling, and science fiction-y show. Um, Thank must you. Be, must be very proud uh, uh, on these characters you're playing. Sean, would, tell me a little bit about um, Luke and, and uh, how, how is he changing in season two? Well, you know, if you've watched season one, Luke is very tightly bound, um, struggling with a lot of things. And by the end of the season, he's taken some of this dark men, or found it rather, and it seeped into his skin. Um, and so that's given him, that's where we pick up the, the second season. And so it's given him a different perspective. It's opened him up. He's unraveling, unwinding, and really kind of stepping into uh, the leadership role and becoming the man that, um, for the most part, that he wants to be, with some errors along the way. Noah, uh, this character that you're playing of of, of Billy is, um, you know, unlike I think anything you've played in the in the past. I mean, he's got such a uh, a, a deep, uh, how can I put it, a deep arc. Um, talk to me about that. Was that one of the reasons why you took the role? Oh yeah, I mean, this felt like a an opportunity not just to do something that that I hadn't done, but maybe something that you know we hadn't seen so much of on television. This character has such a, a as you say, a, a really comes from a deep well, um, and was so beautifully drawn by by Brian Watkins, the creator of the show. Um, you know, I, I there are few characters who, when you read them, I I just felt I felt him before I understood him. I think, and and I. Um, and I gained an understanding of him over the course of the first season uh, and, and what his kind of what was important to him, what his values were, and where his purpose lies. And I feel like at the end of season one, we're, we're starting to come close to a, a purpose for Billy and he's starting to feel that. And then, of course, at the, the circumstances at the end of the of the season, you know, the rug gets pulled out from under him a little bit. And it's a miracle he survives. But season two, for me, it was really just about, you know, uh, a kind of a an interrupted arc and a, and, a, and a kind of a desperate attempt to get back to some of that purpose that he was finding. And he's finding all kinds of roadblocks to that. And not the least of which is that he can't uh, can't use his voice, which is his main instrument for understanding the world around him and himself. So it was a, it was a challenge for season two, for sure. Sean, are you are, are you surprised? I know you're overly uh, happy, but are you surprised at the amount of fans Outer Range has? Blown away. And are you, are you close to the fans? I mean, do you show up at conventions and things like that? I, I've there's conventions for this show. I've never been invited. Wow. <laughs> um, Both should go. If, if there are, uh, yeah, I've never been to one, but. You know, having fans for any project is a, is a blessing and is amazing because if you don't have fans for something, uh, you don't have a show. Um, so I'm totally uh, uh, excited that people love the show as much as they do, that they talk about it, that they uh, hypothesize on where what it is, where it's from, what happens, what's going to happen. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. The more chatter that is uh, about a show that you're doing, the better. Noah, as, as audiences discover uh, season one and now going into season two, uh, what do you think they're going to take away from the show? Well, I think, first of all, this is a show that is is completely unique. Uh, it's it's so tonally specific and and what you kind of what you might think you're walking into in this kind of like, you know, Western world. We're so familiar with that that approach to storytelling. And this just takes a kind of a, a neon, uh, a, a, a kind of psychedelic take on that uh, familiar jacket, you know? And uh, and so I think what people can expect from a season two here is is a kind of a, a, a diving deeper into some of the the questions that get posed in, in season one. Uh, a lot of fans are, are asking what happens, what is, what is this and what is that? And I think that they'll get, you know, little little morsels, really enticing morsels of information as as we explore different timelines and and these characters scrap and claw for every inch of uh, of you know who they are and who they might be. Sean, the same question: What do you think audiences take away from uh, from these seasons of uh, Outer Range? I don't know what they get to take away from it, 
I think I think the the big draw is getting to peek behind the curtain, mm. right? So anything that you see, time traveling or the the mysteries of the universe of wormholes of anything where you go, oh my gosh, they're going to go there, they're going to go through the wormhole. I want to see what's on the other side of that, and so we get to see what's on the other side of the hole, uh, I, at least one aspect of it. I think I think it's a beautifully written show, and uh, you guys do so well. Thank you both and and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, you too. Bye bye.